Miami has the nation's longest active winning streak at 14 straight. And Atlantic Union Bank Park will be buzzing tonight. Count was out 0-2. The payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Scoreless top of the first for the number two team in the country. The pitch. Fly ball, left center, shallow, dashing in is Burke. It's going to drop right in front of him. Here comes Bittison towards second. It's a leadoff double for Virginia Tech. Wow. Look at that hustle there. Bittison just pops one up. You can tell. Here's the pitch. Line drive, right field, a base hit. They're going to hold Bittison at third. Hokies threatening in the first. First and third, nobody out. Flies one, deep left field, back at the wall. See ya. Three run shot, Tanner Schobel. Three nothing tech. Oh, unbelievable. I just mentioned Schobel in a hole, falling behind 0 2 there. Palmquist looking real good, but Schobel looking that much better. Gets a good piece of that one. We talked about the shadows and left. Shadows didn't matter. That one's into the construction zone. Hokies early here, 3 0, then the sledgehammer's in full effect. Take a look at it, ball's just elevated, just uh, pitch the Palmquist would like to have back. Too much plate, too much elevation, way ahead, 0-2, and Schobel makes him pay. If I'm not mistaken, that's a hanging breaking ball. To get it done right here on this pitch. Ground ball up the middle, off the glove of Palmquist, but he'll handle it, toss to first, and the side is retired. Through one, Virginia Tech leads three to nothing. All a part of the Commonwealth Cup. Deep drive, center field. Nick Bittison has a home run. Four nothing, Virginia Tech. Well, you saw that one off the bat. Not the pitch Palm Chris wanted to start. Bittison eyes that up, drives it deep. Good ways up the batter's eye, and you see him pumping up. The Hokie dugout here as he's going to come greet the team. Elise has got the hammer. bittison has got the hammer. Hokie's got all the momentum here, 4-0. Double and a home run for Nick Bittison, and that's a fastball on the outer half and just a nice piece of hitting there from number 24. Yeah, just got the bat extended. Good contact on the barrel, and you see that one there again. 1-1. One, one. Line drive, center field, tough play, cross, closing in, off the glove. Bittison tosses into second, and it's a leadoff double. So Miami here to stay in the ACC. Walked him. Romero aboard, first and second, one out. Pitch indeed in this game. Runner going. Swing and a miss on a pitch down. The throw to first, got him. Halfway through the fourth. Griffin Green is dealing. Hokies lead it four nothing. 70 pitches. And that's gonna be big if they can get that. Kafis over, not in time. Couple of infield singles for Gavin Cross today. He's three for three. Get that production from the top part of the line. Uh, Deep drive, Tanner Schobel. He's got another two run shot. Six nothing, Virginia Tech. Unbelievable, another one off the bat. Just I was commenting on their production early on. Schobel seeing the ball well and that one on a little bit more of a line. Out over PMSI and left center field. A huge two runs for the Hokies. Good job by Cross to beat it out. Good piece of hitting by Schobel. Celebration ensues. It's a fastball, and that's another great piece of hitting. That's not a bad pitch there from Palmquist on the outer half, and Schobel takes him deep over the left center field wall. Can stay in just about any game. Line drive center field, sends Cross back on his horse toward the wall, leaping up, doesn't make the catch, it's off the wall. Hurley's there, and a three-bagger is there. That's going to get away from Demartini, and Rosario has a triple. Oh, able to get the strikeout. Ground ball, other way, base hit. Miami's on the board, it's 6-1. RBI single, C.J. Kafus. Well, Kafis went that way back in the first to start this game off the bat of green for a double. There he pushes it on the ground, 5-6 hole. Able to pick up that run. Fourth inning. 
And now runner going, showing bunt. Here's the throwdown. It is offline and into shallow center field. Kafus heading for third, and he dives in safely. And now runner on third once again for Miami. Fastball, one, two. Oh, nope, breaking ball, 87. Here comes the runner, safe, 6-2. Miami with life in the top of the fifth. Kafis comes home. Here it is. Deep drive, right field, no doubt about it. Home run. Lead is cut in half, 6-3. What an answer from Miami. Great job there. Good, good at bat there from the left-hander, Viagas. Gets behind early. Able to compete, even it up, go full count. Obviously the run scores on that one in the turf. Kafis able to come in for the second run and then there's a lot of fight here from the Hurricanes. That's a no doubter down the right field line. All time bat flip here from the Agus two. Flips it. The twirl over the Miami Bull. Hard hit ball, pull side, a lead off single. Off the bat of Jacob Burke, his first hit of the day. Great job by Burke, good start here. Just set him down. Great and, job and there. Runner takes off, that's against the shift. Martini wasn't there. And Okies were giving him that base. Yeah, Green just picking up the sign, Martini kind of playing in that third base shortstop spot. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Fastball outside. Griffin Green is pumped. He's through six strong. And the Hokies escape with a zero from the Hurricanes. He does. Walked him on four pitches. Here's the pitch. Slow roller pull side. Arguez toward first. Gets there in time. Beats Hurley. Walk four Ks. No runs given up. And that right there is the first hit he's given up. Malinowski shoots it to left field. Hokies have the leadoff runner aboard. Line drive, right field, the base hit, it gets down. Here comes Malinowski, the throw home, not in time. 7-3, Virginia Tech. Well, that's a good job there. Malinowski picks up the extra 90 on the miscue from Miami. Comes back to bite him. You see Hardigan pushes to the right side. Coach Elvin over at third pushing Malinowski around the whole way. Pretty close play. Clearly the hand's in there. No tag. In the first. Line drive. Other way. Caught by Patelli. Throw to first. They double him off. And a big play there from Miami. We are for Firebed. High, deep drive, right center field. Back goes Bittison at the wall, gone. Solo shot, Maxwell Romero. 6-4, excuse me, 7-4. Yeah, they get that run right back. Again, good team's answer. You just mentioned the Hardigan single. He's able to drive in that seventh run for Virginia Tech, but here just a ball that stays up. It didn't seem like it was hit that well, just hit high. Not a ton of wind though, a lot of power there. Payoff pitch. Fisted into left center field, closing his Hurley. It gets by him off of his glove and trickles into center field. Burke rounding second, he'll head to third, and it's a stand-up triple for Jacob Burke. That one hit into right center field, hanging up. And Bittison will let it drop right in front of him. So the run will score. And it's 7-5. It's an RBI single from Zach Levinson. Yeah, tough one there. Too much plate if you're fire of Ed. And then good hustle from Bittison. We've seen Cross come up just short. This one may be the biggest. Fly ball left center field. Back goes Hurley, but looks under it. Now backpedaling makes the catch in left. Nice piece of hitting there from Gonzalez. As that one's lined up the middle. Base hit gets down in front of Burke. Not as much pressure on those guys. You know, you talk about Malinowski, 
at Penmanses. That one rocked into right. Base hit. Gets to the wall in a hurry. Bittison rounding third. They're going to send him. Here's the throw home. It's online. It beats him by a mile. And he's out. And an interesting decision there from Coach Elvin to send him. They're going to go ahead and put him on there and going to get a pitching change. Here it is. Almost hits him up and in. Hurley will be aboard. Here's the pitch. Ball four. Hokies get another. It's 8-5. The 2-2. High fly ball. Left center field. Back at the wall. One hops the wall. Cade Hunter breaks this thing open. A three-run double. 11-5, Hokies lead. Wow. What an at-bat from Cade Hunter. Great answer from Torres, goes 0-2. After the full count walk, left-handed Hunter steps in, gets behind 0-2, fights and fights, evens it up 2-2. Good at-bat, good approach. She's a pitch he can drive, pushes it left center. Outfield converging, but stays in the park. One bounce off the top of the wall, clears the bases. What a huge moment in this game. Like you said, Hokies break it open, 11-5. And that may do it. 3-2. Ground ball, other way. Base hit, pass the diet in Kafus. Here comes Hunter. The throw, not in time. Hardigan towards second. He'll try to take third. Here's the throw to third. It is not in time. 12-5. An RBI from Connor Hardigan once again. Well, a lot going on there. Hardigan, good job. Ball down and away. Pushes it to the right side. The best you can do. Hunter scoring the whole way from second base. Rosario coming up throwing. Actually, a closer play than I thought. Clearly, Hunter's in with the ball up. It gets away. But take a look. You got Hardigan. Okay, he's going to the plate, overthrowing the cutoff man. That's exactly what you do. Advance to get the second. Then he sees it get past the catcher. I'm going to get another 90 and get into third. Good job there. The fastest Virginia Tech team to eclipse 20 wins since 2005 as Halisa strikes out. And Tech will look for 11 of 13 tonight. That's Hokies offense goes quiet for a little bit. And Sky to left, sending Hurley back at the track. Now backpedaling at the wall, reaches up, makes the catch. What a play. <laughs> uh, a no big deal, no big deal. Ground ball left side, Demartini charging, throws on the run, in time. And Virginia Tech defeats the number two team in the nation, putting an end to the 14-game win streak. But hold on, they not may review it. so fast. <laughs> well, why not, right? If you're Miami, you got to take a look yep. at that. Yep. Here it is to end the game. He's out. And there you go. Virginia Tech takes down number two Miami. They've won 11 of their last 13. And again, take down the number two team in the country and put an end to the longest winning streak in the nation.